So since all of this has started, the pandemic that we've been going through and we've been, you know, sheltering in place and all these things, um, one of the things that I personally had been doing was just coming in. Um, this is my my bedroom where I hang out and pray a lot and um, have some privacy. And um, as I would sit back and I'd think and pray, and I'd say, all right, Lord, what, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to do? What's on your heart? And many times, I can't even tell you how many times, but several times I've heard him just say, I just want you to bask in my presence. And I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I had to think about that for a while because I'm, I'm, you know, if you've ever heard the story about Mary and Martha, I'm, I'm a doer. I'm a, a Martha, but I'm also a Mary to a certain extent. I'm the task oriented person where I get the job done. Let's get this done. Let's, you know, finish this up. But many, many times during this, I've just heard the Holy Spirit say, I just want to spend time with you, Sarah. Just bask in my presence. And without getting too personal, because I believe that this, you know, was truly between the Lord and I, but I also believe that he's trying to speak to other people. And so that's why I'm sharing. But it happened again this afternoon, and I just heard him say, you know, just bask in my presence. And immediately in my mind, I thought of how Moses was changed. His face was changed. He was glowing after he had spent time with the Lord, where the Lord really, truly was with him. And I want to read this. Now, I know that my face is not glowing. I get that. Um... But when God wants to spend time with you, just you resting in his presence, that is precious. That's priceless. It's, um, I don't even know, unprecedented, you know, because he just wants to spend time with us. He's our creator. He loves us and he just wants to be with us. Not, you know, doing anything, just just being, you know. And for me being a doer, it's it was it's hard, but I'm learning how to just be quiet and listen and let the Lord love on me. Let him talk to me. That's it's super awesome, okay? Let me read these scripture verses. It's it's out of Exodus chapter 34. And it's verses 29 through 35. And this is what it says. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hands, he was not aware that his face was radiant because he had spoken with the Lord. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, his face was radiant, and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them, so Aaron and all the leaders of the community came back to him, and he spoke to them. Afterward, all the Israelites came near him, and he gave them all the commands the Lord had given him on Mount Sinai. When Moses finished speaking to them, he, pulled, he put a veil over his face, but whenever he entered the Lord's presence to speak with him, he removed the veil until he came out. And when he came out and told the Israelites what he had been commanded, they saw that his face was radiant. Then Moses would put the veil back over his face until he went in to speak with the Lord. But if you think about it, when we sit in the presence of the Lord, obviously I, I haven't, seen him face to face I, <laughs> I don't know what I would do I don't think I could actually survive that but his countenance changed the radiant face of Moses and if you spend time with Jesus 
Let me just bask in his presence. Your countenance is going to change. The way you see things is going to change. The way you do things is going to change. Because you spend time with him and you just let him love on you. Give it a try. You won't be upset. <laughs>